I talk to my door all the time, okay? We have conversations. Hello, old friend. Why would your dishwasher be your old friend? And before the sponge turns into a monster and eats you? <laughs> Opening it would only bring you chores. Your chores is a stark relief. There will be time later. Okay. Blender? Mom's been on a smoothie kick lately because they're easy to eat on the run. They give you runs too. You can't think of the last time you made toast, yet the toast is right on the counter. Let's make some now! Believe it or not, the plant was just as dead this morning. Not a lot's changed in the kitchen. <laughs> is this a note? No, I guess it's not. This refrigerator is, well, green. It's incredibly green. I actually don't like the color green in these spots. They look stupid. Mom, are you colorblind? You grip the handle firmly and pull up in the fridge. Whoosh! Is that prune juice? It's a large bottle of juice. You're not really a fan. Drinking stuff like this makes you feel like an old lady. Jelly Jam Random Fruit pres Preserves. Trust Jelly Jam for only the best jellies and jams. Sure thing. Why is it take glitter from the sink? Is it the only clink? Is it the only clean thing in here? <laughs> no, there's something shiny in it. That's what it's saying. Can we shovel it out? That's a good way to grind up a perfectly good spade, but a terrible way to retrieve an object from a drain. Okay, well how about we use a talisman? Okay, well I don't know. We're gonna take this jelly jam though. So to take the flavor of jelly jam with you. Give me some jelly jam. Jim Jimmy Jum. Surely not going to drink it, but you find yourself taking the juice anyway. What's in the fridge? Oh. What's in the freezer? There's nothing in the freezer, really? Ow. Oh my god, you're still here? Stranger one is still seated in the dining room. She idly sips her drink, waiting for you to strike up conversation. Her eyes are almost daring you to do so. I'm gonna pour me some jelly jam. Feeling vaguely hungry, you decide to bust out the jam. It's sweet and tart, just the way you like it. It reminds you of the PB and J they served at camp last year. Please don't die. Okay. I wanted to mix it with the prune juice, but I went and ate it. I ate it. I wasn't expecting to eat it. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Some kind of purple liquid the label's been torn off though, so there's no telling what. Oh god. <laughs> Use purple stuff on prune juice. That's the last thing you need today, a sticky mess. I'm in a sticky mess game, okay? Let's make it stickier. So there's only one way to determine what strange brew this is. You tip the ball to your mouth and sip gingerly. Great poison, my favorite. Prune juice, maybe? Your vision grows cloudy and a wave of exhaustion washes over you. No! No! Not again! Wow. Stop drinking prune juice. It's bad for you. It's not good, my friend. You're evil, lady. Can I talk to you? Oh, I can. <laughs> After all this time, I haven't tried talking to her yet. A toothy grin spreads across the one's face where she speaks. There you are, well. Come give me a big kiss. On what? Your teeth? Shoot, let's give her a kiss. You hesitantly walked to the window and lean in to kiss her wrinkled cheek. Say, don't drink prune juice, it makes you wrinkly like a prune and then kill you. It's clammy and loose. She smells like dust, mothballs, and some spice you can't quite describe. That's better. Now your Aunt Dahlia poured a glass of prune juice, your favorite, down the hatch. Uh, I'm gonna decline, lady. Have you not seen me drink that lately? No, no thanks, I'm not thirsty. I'd rather die. <laughs> then again, I guess if I said that, I would drink the prune juice. 
Oh, is there any way to treat your Aunt Dahlia? Your mother wanted me to look after you today, and you're already misbehaving. <sighs> Listen. Listen, Aunt Dahlia. Why have I never heard of you before? <laughs> if Mom sent you, then what's the password? The password? I think you're a little old to need a password. Your mother can trust you to pick out a stranger, can't she? You're a stranger, all right. All right, you know what? I'll trust you. This time, Dahlia. She presents an interesting point. You are getting older now, and you can't be trusted to make decisions. <laughs> Spank me all you want. I'm not drinking it. It's nice to have an aunt who gets it. Okay, I'm listening. You take a seat at the table. Aunt Dahlia nods, please. So, tell me something about my dear niece. What type of music do you like? I like slow music you can just slowly dance to. I like slower stuff. Oh really? That's a shame. <laughs> yep, it is. <laughs> the slower the better. Well then, I don't think you'd be interested. She allows her to comment to hang, piquing your interest. I found a music cassette lying around. Cause I know you're interested by the look on your face. <laughs> it doesn't sound like your cup of tea. <laughs> your cup of prune. Unfazed, you shrug and move on. <sighs> no way. Taken aback by her forward request, you aren't sure what to say. You shake your head. Ah. I'm so sorry. It's okay, child. Sit down and have some prune juice your loving aunt saved for you. No. <laughs> Definitely no on that all the time. Uh. How was school today? Skip details. Well, I lost my phone for a while and I had to go back in and get it. There's a lot going on. It's going to take a while. Well, there's this kid Brandon in my English class. He used to be okay, but lately he's telling people things that aren't true. You ramble on for several more minutes. And it's like, if that's how you feel, just tell me to my face. I don't have time for all the drama. <laughs> really open up. Glad to have a sympathetic ear. You begin to confide in Aunt Dahlia. I just want to be taken seriously, you know? It's so hard at this age, but... After a very thorough section of your social circle, you realize you haven't given Aunt Dahlia any time to interject. Keep talking. You assume she had anything to add, she speak up. You continue. So Valerie, the girl who always wears hats, we had art together last year, but lately... Time passes and you talk, and you notice Aunt Dolly starting to nod off. Her eyes are half open, and she's not really focused on you. <laughs> Drink it! No! Now we're gonna continue our conversation. No reason to stop while you're on a roll. You keep talking. Diamond is the first sight that comes to mind. <laughs> Your voice echoes strangely down the adjacent hallways of the otherwise silent house. Your story is rudely interrupted by a large, sharp snore. <laughs> Aunt Dolly is asleep. Snoring, in fact. <laughs> you weigh your options. Let's let her sleep. You sink lower, careful not to make a sound. There's no telling how deeply she's sleeping. She's probably faking it, so I'd shut up. <laughs> Free the woman's uncomfortable gaze, turn your attention back to the room. Now, where were you? We're gonna give Aunt Dahlia this freaking prune juice. Careful not to make a sound, you lean in front of Dahlia and pour the bottle of contents into her glass. She awakens with a start and resumes sipping at her glass as nothing happened. After several sips, Dahlia reads something is wrong and begins coughing. Looks like the prune juice works both ways, Aunt Dahlia. <laughs> What did you do? She collapses on the table, clawing toward you. You little punk, how dare you? Is that what happened to me? Okay. That's how I died. <laughs> Several times. What sleeping hangs lie? <laughs> you know it's a loud hissing sound slowly building from deep within the woman. She falls to the ground and begins to melt out of existence. Nothing remains in her place except the small cassette tape. An old story's end. I mean, what did you want, Adalia? Why did you want me out of the way? 
It's not like I have anything. I have my room. My stuffed animals. I have my backpack full of shit that I don't even know what to do with. It's a cassette tape for listening to music. This is left behind when Aunt Dahlia melted away. It doesn't have slow tunes on it though. I don't want it. It's got upbeat music. I told her I didn't want this shit. Andalia, you get your ass back here right now. I'm not playing, woman. <laughs> A door leads further into the house. Oh man, I should have asked those kids if they wanted some prune juice. Or Aunt Dolly drank it all. So rude. I feel so bad. You walk past the table into the next room. Okay, creepy ass clown picture I don't like. As soon as I saw that, it gave me chills. My hair is standing on end. <laughs> Suddenly the door slams and upbeat music you hate plays for eternity. You go insane. Game over. <laughs> Don't pick up the cassette! Alright, got it. <laughs> the den is where the family gathers to watch TV or just hang out together. You don't want to hang out in this version for too long, though. Heaven forbid. And what the hell are you? Oh, film. It's a roll of film. You can load this into a camera and take pictures. God. You tuck the film away for safekeeping. Maybe you'll find a camera later. It's gonna be like... Oh, what's that one game? Oh, I can't remember what the game is. It's got red butterflies in it. Crims. Fatal Frame? I think it's Fatal Frame. You gotta take pictures of ghosts and shit. Where you gotta like look through the camera to see them, something like that. Can't we stay and play video games? I mean, what is this? I'm not old enough to recognize this. You think it's some kind of video game console? It's older than you are, though. Oh, there we go. Called that one. Aren't there enough video games in your life right now? What? Just cause I have like, how many Steam games do I have? Like legit, how many do I have? Just cause I have almost 600 games in my Steam does not mean I have enough video games, okay? <laughs> that was an insult. <laughs> how dare you? The bookshelves stretch from floor to ceiling, full of your dad's book collection. Oh dad, whatever happened to you? You drank the prune juice, didn't you dad? <laughs> this game is low-key hating on gamers. <laughs> you pushed and pulled several books to check for secret passages, but no such luck. The most you found was a paper cut. Shit, I'm gonna die from that, aren't I? I'm gonna get an infection. Quick, dish soap. <laughs> I just thought I'd make an angry Reddit post. How dare you! <laughs> you slide so many horses off the shelf into your collection. Okay, of all books, why that horse? Why that horse? I meant why that book, but okay. Either way, it works. You really hope the house goes back to normal because this television is in no way your 42 inch flat screen. <laughs> you press power, but nothing happens. No sounds, just nothing. Okay. You've heard of grandfather clocks, but this must be a great grandfather clock. It seems very old and expensive. I'm gonna have another start your own <laughs> flea market. <laughs> you move in for a closer look at the clock. Osborne, 1988. This particular tab is looser than the others. Can they be removed? We'll remove it, you punk ass. Is any other ones like this? It's amazing. Mine. Mine is loose. It's 
clock is impressively built. This is definitely the type of thing that stays in the family for generations. Whose family brought it here? Obviously ours. It's our house. Hello? God, how dumb am I? Six spade to it. We're gonna dig this sucker out. You hit the clock tap with your spade. Feel better now? Because nothing happened. No, I don't feel better, okay? It's a television remote. You suffer controlling the TV from across the room. Just take it. You hide the remote inside your backpack. Why did I hide the remote? Fast forward, mute, stop, power, nothing seems to work. There's something deeply unsettling about the pictures hanging on the wall. Yeah, it's a clown. That's deeply unsettling. Unsettling. Unword. How about the couch? Couch has seen better days, but still looks comfortable. I am leery about sitting on that couch. Why would a TV remote have a fast forward button? Uh, DVR, hello. Hello, Nocturne? Hello? Do you know what year this is? Ah, uh, you lean back and let the cushions support you. This is the life. Realizing you're still inside a dark, creepy perversion of your house. You snap out of your reverie. You know what? Since my house was here a moment when I went to school, and it's not really my house anymore, maybe this has DVR. Maybe! One never knows! It's a weird house, it can have weird things. Stick your finger in this, like, electrical socket. How dare you question me. This door leads into a short hallway and into another room. How can you be sure if it's not your house, though? <laughs> They're gonna walk through and be like, and I was wrong. <laughs> it leads to a dead end. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna say dead end. Crack the door and peek through. It looks like it leads to the laundry room. Was I wrong after all? You pass through to the next room. Like a ghost. The laundry room is an oddly welcome sign. At first glance, it appears to look like you left it the other. Other than an extra door. Like the DVR is in the laundry room. Maybe the DVR is inside that washing machine. The dryer is running at the moment. Okay, dryer. My bad. Can't tell the difference. Sorry. The basket's full of dirty clothes. You hope laundry wasn't your chore this week. Judging by the smell, it was. Sniff sniff. Ah! It's a... Pour some dish soap on this shit. You gently squeeze the bottle, not quite enough to make soap come out. Instead, it creates several tiny bubbles that float for several meters before popping. Delightful. No, nothing is trying to get out, okay? It's just a normal dryer. It's a wall-mounted flip-down ironing board. Mom irons so rarely you can't remember seeing it down, though. Even still, of all the boards you've ever seen, this one has to be the most irony. Ah! Ah! I made a joke! This laundry chute comes from upstairs bathroom. You look up through the opening but can't see anything. Are you sure? <laughs> No? Okay? God. That's why we save our game before we die. Before we make stupid decisions, we save our game. A supply cupboard to hold all your laundry supplies. I promise to keep your clothes bolder and make your whites smolder. <laughs> why would they burn? It's a box of fabric softener sheets. Am I ever going to use these items? Jesus Christ! <laughs> At least now my bag will smell nice. Well, we're not gonna get rid of those, apparently. Let's take this detergent. Hey! Woo! Let's put the dryer in here, my bag bag as well. Why not? <laughs> God, game. Come on. Stop. Can we use it on our basket? 
You pour a drop of stuff on the floor and move it around with your foot. You know, in the right setting, this would make a great substitute for ice skating. <laughs> God damn it, wow. <laughs> Object of the game is really to collect every item. <laughs> oh man. Do we dare? Do we dare? The dry is running and it sounds like there is something inside. You can't tell what it is through the window. What window? There's a door. <laughs> Save, because we collected items. You tug on the handle but it won't budge. Thank god for that. Are we sure we don't want suds? Put suds in our stupid thing. Handy dandy backpack. Store leads right into the backyard. It's currently locked from the side. Okay, we'll un un. You slide open the latch and pull the door open. Okay, there's our getaway in case things get a little uh. Arty. <laughs> no. A closet. You find yourself intensely interested in the store, as it doesn't exist in your normal laundry room. You open the door, eager to find out what this new room could be! Is this like a Doctor Strange episode? I feel like it's a Doctor Strange episode right now. Can we? It's Narnia. Let's use the TV remote on the closet. Fast forward, me stop, nothing seems to work. That's weird. You still aren't quite sure what to make of the store. You step away from your safe, normal laundry room. Uh... This isn't Narnia, you liar. <laughs> you stand at the foot of infinity. Where is beyond? Can I take this Rubik's Cube? Give me the Rubik's Cube! It's a roll of film. You can load this into a camera and take pictures. Okay. Behind the scenes of Martin Arnie. I didn't want to look at the bridge, I want to look at that. I'm saying forever to the next. Forever is a long time. Are you sure about that? Door? It cannot exist. But it does! Look at it! Don't. No, but just move! Why? It's a door. If you flip the film over, this is what you see. Hell. Curving around perpetuity. It's like kind of amazing though. It cannot exist, but it does! Swear to god. Swear to god, wow. If you don't go through this door. There's a way. One way. A possibility. No, go through this one. Fine. Go through the door that's supposed to exist. You drift away. I thought I died for a moment. It's like, are you kidding me? The downstairs bathroom is so far from your room, you rarely use it. Why is there gonna be a bathroom downstairs? I just got chills again. Noticing the bathroom is locked, you knock on the door. There's no response. Alright, you know what? I got poop. Open it. Alright, so there's some stuff we can't do. Ironically, with our three backpack full of shit, we can't do anything with them. You hope the situation is all soon. You'll never get used to ghosts living downstairs. Can I turn you off? Don't hit the TV remote. Oh my god, you brat. I don't know what we have. We have a locker key. No, we don't have another key. Let's go upstairs. You nervously ascend the stairs to rooms unknown. That's that's nice. That's a nice way to put it, game. Thank you. Staircase connects the first and second floors of the house. Why would you even need to say that, game? I, I don't understand. This really ranks 95 out of 100 on the slight ability scale, but you know it's far too dangerous. 
So we'll probably do it anyway, because why not? I died already several times. You've never seen this porch before. It looks like a creepy sea captain. It's grandpa before you were born. Probably not. It's Davy Jones. You can't shake the feeling something is missing from this painting. Probably his head? A little girl, maybe? She looks a little old for the rest of the picture. Who picked these out? That's 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 me when I was younger. I just I forgot. Forgot I looked that pale and I played with dolls. Ugh. Dolls. This is the nearest hallway when you get to the second floor. I was a cute little girl with black lipstick. You tromp up the stairs to the first hallway. You stand in the upstairs hallway, which seems relatively untouched. Except for the fact this wallpaper is ripped. Sometimes at night, this light flickers. It's the creepiest thing. But it's not doing it now though, which is even creepier. You always thought this end table was a bit spooky looking, but compared to the stuff you've seen today, not anymore. A familiar family photograph. Comforting. Can't quite make out dad though. <laughs> oh, it's my room? We don't want to go in there. That's, that's gonna be horror. The studies through here, where Dad keeps the family computer. Hell yeah, computer games! Okay, maybe not. Dad studies lock like it always is when he's out of town. The key should be around here somewhere. <sighs> Dad? What are you hiding in there, Dad? That door leads into the guest room, but something is blocking the door. Oh shit. It's not even a lock on the door, but it's not opening. It feels like someone's on the other side holding it shut. You know what? Oh my god, this is bratty children! They're holding it shut! Please do your bedroom, just like it should. It won't open. Mom's right. It is annoying when somebody locks your bedroom door. It is. Like... Legit. We want to play Steam games. You little mother effers. <laughs> Your brother hid under this rug once, in the worst hide and seek decision ever. How oh, is that so bad? You walk backwards down the stairs, trip and fall and break your neck. Game over. Okay, listen. Listen, one of you... Do you want a cell phone, kid? Oh hey, look, there's a map. Look, there's a map! Son of a whore. I had a map this whole time. Um? Um? What is that? What? Is that Fifi? That's what Fifi turns into? Oh my god, Fifi is like a freaking werewolf. Called it. There's no fast travel, I don't think. That sucks. Okay, get me out of here. Can I call someone for help? Help me! There's ghosts! It's <laughs> Fifi when her temperament problems kick in. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> you look like you want a book. Here, have a book. He stares at the book, then back at you. His hollow eyes bore into you. Do you think this is funny? <laughs> I guess he didn't want the book, did he? 